Hey everybody, how's it going? So with the upcoming Black Widow movie, it seems like the supervillain Taskmaster will finally be making his long-awaited MCU debut. Now, a mercenary with the ability to mimic any movement he witnesses, Taskmaster is considered one of Marvel's greatest adversaries, especially if you're talking more so hand-to-hand -hand combat than anything else. And based on certain reveals we've seen, whether it's toy sets or shown footage, it appears as if Taskmaster will specifically be showcasing abilities from various members of the Avengers outside of characters such as Hulk, Vision, and Scarlet Witch, and others probably introduced after the events of Civil War, just because it appears that this movie takes place right after Civil War. So certain characters probably won't be at all referenced in this. I would even be surprised if Spider-Man and his abilities are referenced just because Spider-Man's more of a new character within this time period of the MCU. But moving on past that, he's been shown in toy sets and slash or footage, either mimicking Captain America's combat using his shield. He's also been shown mimicking Hawkeye with the bow. And something that's really interesting is the question of whether Taskmaster, when he's replicating Captain America's movements, especially using a shield replica, is that shield made out of vibranium somehow? And the only reason I pose that question is because most of Captain America's crazy shield movements is only possible due to the properties of vibranium. Even Spider-Man makes reference within Civil War about how that shield does not obey usual laws of physics. Now, Taskmaster as well has been shown wielding a variant of Black Panther claws, which is actually really interesting because that also begs the question, are those claws he's wearing also made out of vibranium to some extent? And if so, how? As well as this, we've also seen him using something which appears to be Stark Tech, which has gotten a lot of popularity on social media lately with people saying, God, please don't let Taskmaster be connected to Stark again, just like Mysterio was, just like Vulture was. And we actually did a video on this a while ago, but just to revisit the topic, it's very possible that Taskmaster is using some derivative of Iron Man's tech. And the reason why is because within Captain America Civil War, during the fight between Iron Man and Captain America, Iron Man started using something for, with Friday's AI, which allowed him to basically predict Captain America's fighting patterns due to Friday analyzing all pre-recorded histories of Captain America's movement. And through doing that, not only could the Iron Man armor act independently of Tony, but it could also fight alongside hand-to-hand -hand combat on par with Captain America because Captain America just fights way too quick for a normal person to react as accordingly, which is why he was basically beating Iron Man in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now, this creates an interesting situation with Taskmaster connecting to all these potential characters because for him to replicate properly, at least, certain characters like Captain America or Black Panther, he would need proper resources and data to do so. And the only character that really would have that kind of information is someone connected to the US government or United Nations, specifically someone who has been properly surveilling the different Avengers members for quite some time in order to pass on that information, especially someone, and the reason I say US government is because this individual would need to have access to the Iron Man technology that has been made available to the US government, either in the past, as we've seen with War Machine becoming Iron Patriot, or more current day, because it's very much so possible that due to Sokovia Accords, Iron Man had to give some technology to the US government. Something that could develop into essentially the US government or someone associated with government, getting certain protocols such as Friday's ability to do movement mimicry and predictive technology. Now, the only person with a motive to do this as a countermeasure to the superhuman movement and specifically the Avengers is someone like Secretary Ross, as he would not only have the connections to do so, the authority to do so, the motivation to do so, also the availability to do so, because we've seen him countless times create countermeasures or attempt to create countermeasures to various Avengers, not only just the Hulk. Now, also, besides appearing in Civil War, he has appeared in Infinity War, Endgame, and has upcoming appearances in both the Black Widow movie and Falcon and Winter Soldier series. So in that case, especially if the rumors are correct that this is all leading to a Thunderbolts film, potentially Thunderbolt Ross could be making a Thunderbolts team, more so an amalgamation of also Dark Avengers from the Dark Reign era of comics. The team would be led by Secretary Ross, probably operating on an official basis under the Sokovian Accords, even though it'd be very much so possible, behind the scenes they'll be doing the dirty work of the governments. 
Now, potential team members include Yelena, aka Black Widow 2, Taskmaster, Ghost, Zemo. Also, rumors have circulated that we might see the leader return. And then, of course, Winter Soldier as well, possibly taking on a team leader role as a character Ross would rely on in the field during missions to kind of keep everybody focused to make sure things don't get out of hand. And also maybe to take care of some of the more dirty work public heroes like Captain America can't do due to PR issues. And that's actually been something visited before in the comics, where I think during the Brubaker era of the Winter Soldier, it was revealed that in the past when Captain America, Steve Rogers or other Caps were doing press and basically being the nation's sweetheart, behind the scenes, Bucky was doing a lot of dirty work, a lot of assassinations that never really came to light because otherwise it would tarnish reputation in the PR image of Captain America. But leave your comments down below. What do you guys think about this? And we'll see you guys later.